Hello and back again to Design Patterns. In this video, I will explain the lock pattern or ge the general idea of locking. For this, I will use the words mutex, semaphore, condition variables, but I will not explain them in detail. So why do we lock? The idea is to ensure mutual exclusive access to some resource. This resource can be a file, a common data store, this resource can be a variable, which we want to change from multiple threads. To do this, we use locks. And these locks ensure that the specific critical section is only executed by a single thread. In the beginning of the critical section, we acquire this lock, and in the end, we release this lock again. Acquisition of a lock is only possible by one thread. We have several different variants of locks. A mutex, which is just a binary lock, a semaphore, which can count, a reader-writer lock, which treats readers or read-only threads differently than writer threads, or a condition variable, which blocks until someone notifies the condition. We use locks in the context of simultaneous access to resources. We have multi-threading or multi-processing. And we want to avoid conflicts. We want to ensure a sequence of access in order to stay consistent. So the forces are, we have parallel access to shared resources. So reading and writing, we change the shared resources. We are on one machine, so we are in the same address space. And I already mentioned we have read or write access. And the problem is now, how can we avoid conflicts? When multiple threads want to write on a resource, who writes first? Furthermore, we want to enforce consistency. All accessors should have the same view. The solution is to acquire a lock before accessing a resource or wait until this lock is available. So only one thread can acquire a lock at the same time. And after we are done, we release the lock. Important here is to use a lock which is synchronized and atomic to the client. So acquisition and release should be atomic operations. The consequences are, after using locks, we can ensure that the access to our resource is mutually exclusive. We establish a logic order amongst all threads. One liability is which lock is appropriate. Should I use a mutex, a semaphore, a condition variable, or a reader-writer lock? Maybe I don't even need a lock. Maybe I can use immutable data types and thread-specific storage to give each thread its own instance of an object, of a resource. Or maybe there are some lockless implementations. Using locks produces overhead and waiting times. This could slow down my application. Although I'm programming with multi-threading, waiting times for locks could be the reason that I cannot use all my processing power. Also, a problem are race conditions and deadlocks. If I acquire multiple locks in different orders, it could happen that one thread waits for the other thread to unlock a mutex, and this thread waits for a mutex which the first thread already held. There you have a deadlock. And also, depending on how the operating system executes the threads, it could happen that you have race conditions. Situations where locks are not acquired in the right order or are randomly acquired due to the operating system, so you could run into some race conditions. So, locks. Think of this crossroads as a common resource, and the cars are our threads. If we don't use lock, it could happen that they all access the resource at the same time and we have a problem. This doesn't work. So let's introduce a traffic light as a lock, then it works. Although some cars have to wait. This works. But are there other solutions? Think of a roundabout, which would represent a lockless implementation of the crossroads. Here we don't have traffic lights. But if we think a little bit deeper, we just made the resource smaller. Instead of having one big resource, we have four smaller ones in this case. 